hey guys it's Kristen welcome back to my channel today we are back at Walgreens this time I'm gonna be bringing you guys an all digital haul basically just showing you how to really maximize your savings at Walgreens the trick is to use the rewards from one transaction and rolling them into another transaction that's how you really keep your out-of-pocket low so on this account I also have a spin booster for spin 22 get back six um, so if you don't have that booster or you have something 25 or 20 just cater to your booster other than that, let's hop right into it. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So the first deal we're going to take advantage of is this Colgate deal where they're $3.99 by two, get back a $4 risk reward. Now there are different options you can choose from. Now you could pick up two um, Colgate toothpaste that will total out to $7.98. We do have two $2 digitals that will drop you down to $3.98, getting back that $4 risk reward, which make them free. Now, if you don't want toothpaste, that's okay. Another option you can do, you can pick up the mouthwash. It is also a part of the deal. And we have a $2 digital for this, as well as the toothbrush. Um, the toothbrushes are also a part of that deal. $3.99 and we have another $2 digital. So just pick up two products, whichever ones you want, and make sure you have the digitals that apply and put them into your cart. Now these people have been killing this deal guys because yesterday this was full and now there's almost nothing left. Um, so it is on the Garnier Fruit Tea Shampoo and Conditioner. They are part of the promotion where select products are buy two and you get back a $4 reward. They are also two for eight. So you pick up two of them, we have a three off of two digital. You would pay $5, get back a $4 reward, make them a dollar or 50 cents each. I almost forgot that all the deals I'm showing you guys in this video, individually or whatever, if you don't have a spin booster, you can apply Walgreens cash to them. Pick up these big flex three razors right here, priced at $4.99. We do have a $3 digital, making it just $1.99. Now we are a little shy of $22, so we need a filler item. So I'm gonna show you um, select products that are on sale for $1.99. So you can choose between these trash bags. We hardly ever get trash bags, so you can pick up one of these. If you don't want trash bags, you can also go with the Walgreens brand of toilet paper priced at $1.99, as well as like the complete home and nice bags are also priced at $1.99. So pick up one of any one of the products that I showed you is completely up to you and then put it in your cart. So this is what your cart should be looking like before coupons, the total comes out to $22.96 which is perfect because remember we're working with a booster for you spend 22 you get back six dollars in walgreens cash so after all of your coupons remember all digital it will drop you down to twelve dollars and 96 cents you want to pay that out of pocket but then you're going to get back six dollars in walgreens cash as well as two four dollar risk rewards so that's a total of fourteen dollars you're getting back after spending 13 making this free plus a dollar money maker so i'm actually going to head up to the front and check out and then I'll be right back uh, debriefing this receipt and letting you know how everything went. All right, y'all, so I'm back from that transaction. Everything went the way it was supposed to. I had no hiccups with digitals. I had no hiccups with pricing. Everything was what it was supposed to be. Um, So you can see, and then here are all my digitals. Like I said, everything did come off. It did drop my total down to $12.96 like we planned. And then um, I did get back my $6 in Walgreens cash. Now right here it says 13. I did get an additional $7 in Walgreens cash because I had a booster clip where if you make three purchases, $15 or more, after the third per the third transaction, you will get back an additional um, $7. So I always clip those, even if I don't pl think I'm going to reach you know, what, what it's asking, I always clip it because you just never know. Um, and then if you do reach it, hey, extra money. And then as far as my risk rewards, I did get back both of my risk rewards. I got back the $4 store for the Garnier and then the $4 manufacturer risk reward for um, the Colgate. So I'm, I'm still going to finish this transaction as if I didn't get those additional $7. So we're still only going to be working with $6 in Walgreens cash and these two $4 risk rewards. So let's get into our second transaction. Now for our second transaction, we're going to pick up some laundry products. So the Tide Simply and Downy products are on sale four for nine. Um, so you can choose between the Tide Simply, that's the pods, as well as the liquid detergent. You can also choose between the bounce dryer sheets right here. And then we have Downy products, the fabric softener, as well as the scent beads. I'm gonna pick up four of them. You can pick up any four and put them in your cart. So here are the products I decided to pick up. These four products are totaled out to $9. We're gonna use one of those $4 rest rewards that we got from transaction one. 
that's going to drop it down to five dollars and then we're going to use five dollars in walgreens cash again that we got from transaction one leaving us to pay subtotal zero we're just going to be paying the tax and then for one more transaction i just picked up a five dollar product you want to pick up a, an item any item priced at five dollars um this is just what i decided to pick up the 12 count of scott toilet paper so i'm going to use that last four dollars uh rest reward that we got from transaction one that will drop me down to a dollar and then we're going to use that last dollar in walgreens cash leaving us to pay nothing but the tax now if you want to you can put both of these transactions together the five dollar product and the tide however you won't be able to use six dollars in walgreens cash the most you'll be able to use is five so then you'll still have to pay a dollar out of pocket so it's up to you if you don't want to do a lot of transactions all right guys so i just completed them now they did take me at a different register Ugh, lucky me the printer they need more ink um so i hope you can read it um on this one i did do the four for nine laundry products um so i used that four dollar one of the four dollar rich rewards it dropped me down to five dollars and then hopefully you can see that i did redeem five dollars in walgreens cash leaving me to pay just the tax and then the same thing for this last uh transaction picked up a five dollar product um used the other four dollar risk reward and then it dropped me down to a dollar and then i used a dollar in walgreens cash again just paying the tax so i love being able to pay the tax for these last two transactions so here is a recap of today's haul using only digital coupons now as far as final cost and out of pocket we only paid twelve dollars and 96 cents plus tax we paid the 12.96 for that very first transaction and then the rewards we got back from that transaction we used those to pick up the other products um so i hope this explained um how to really keep that out of pocket low um, as well as if you enjoy these type of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up as well as let me know in the comment section below to keep doing videos like this. Um, that way you can get an understanding as to just a way of maximizing your savings as well as keeping it out of pocket low. Now, I love you guys so much. Remember, I do have other videos posted um, for this week. I have a bigger Walgreens haul posted as well as a huge CVS haul that I did post today as well. I love you guys, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.